I fitted a new track rod about six months ago. As you can see, nice, lovely new ball joints. New track rod here. Uh, new clamps in there. Jobs are good. Thought it was great. However, I forgot to put this back on. And I kept sort of tripping over it in the garage and I didn't really think much of it because I was like, wow, I'm not off-roading. You know, I'm not going to bash my track rod on, on anything. No dramas. And then uh, about a week ago, reversing it out of my driveway, which uh, I need full lock, I started hearing rubbing noises, like my tyres are actually rubbing on the chassis or something, and you can kind of see that here, the tyres have been rubbing on the chassis, and I was thinking, that's odd. Maybe I adjusted it wrong or something, but why is it only just appeared right now? Um, well, I can tell the answer. That's the answer right there. See the kink in the track rod? It's not supposed to be like that. And I've only done 2,000 miles on road, no off-roading whatsoever. And look at that, massive kink. Uh, that's really surprising. I can only imagine. Now, I couldn't work it out because I hadn't been off-roading. And I was thinking, this thing is only going to stop it, you know, bending at the point where it's attached to the diff. So I couldn't work it out. But then I realised that actually the track rod moves in and out of this thing as you turn the steering. So what this is doing is, if there is any kink, it's going to be straightening the track rod as you steer. Um, you can see how it's worn down on this edge here. This has got about 20 years of usage on it. Um, I can't really say that uh, this track rod bending, this is an all makes part. I can't really say that this is down to the quality of the parts being poor or made of cheese because I haven't been using the vehicle as intended. Um, who'd have thought this actually had a use on road? That's all I can think that the cause has been. But I have got a new track rod to fit. Um, this one's a Brit part, so I'll do a comparison of what the two parts are like. And then I'll be refitting this. Jobs are good. Thank God for copper slip. Wrong way because it's right end thread, isn't it? Dumbass. This is the new one that came, Brit part. They all seem to be cheaper under the old part now, but NRC9472. But then they supply the new number, so whatever. Um, here's the old and the new. So we've got uh, Ormex one on the right, Brit part one on the left, brand new. Um, I've put the ends together because you might be able to see there's a kind of a groove runs around here. It's quite indicative. They do seem to be slightly different, but essentially they're the same part. It's just a threaded bit of rod at the end of the day. You could probably couldn't get much cheaper than one of these. Although obviously in my case, the main difference is that one of them's uh, as it should be, the other one's shaped like a banana. 
but there we go. Uh, I wouldn't normally buy bit Brit part through choice, however, I need to drive this car tomorrow, and uh, that's all I could get at such short notice. So um, it's got me out of trouble for the the total price of thirteen pounds. Would you believe for that? One thing I've noticed is that the bolts that are supplied are different lengths. So these bolts came as a kit with uh, these here and they got quite a bit of thread on. These bolts are bought separately as spares with the part number and there's not enough thread to get the, the nylock fully engaged. Um, so just be aware of that. I'm going to have to get some bolts, bolts to put on there because that is not acceptable. There's not enough thread poking through for my liking. And then all back together with the bracket this time. Now, uh, insofar as tracking goes, uh, I'm not going to um, say that I can do it better than the garage, so I'm going to take it to a garage. However, until that point, I want to get the wheels broadly um, slightly toe out. The Land Rover spec is 0 to 2 millimeters toe out, so I'm going to aim for about a mil. The way I do it is using a curtain pole, one rod slides inside the other one. I line up to a point on the rim, on both rims, uh, say there, right on the edge. And then I measure the distance to here. And then I do that on the other side of the other side of the wheel, and then I just adjust the track rod by rotating it forward or backwards to make it that the this length here is about a mil wider than the other one uh, it's a bit rough and ready but uh, it'll at least get the, the wheels mostly in the right position before I get the garage to do the tracking <laughs> 